News Daily Original this hour. One woman suffered her entire life because of sickle cell, a painful disease with no cure. Decades later, a scientist created a Nobel Prize winning technology that would change her life forever. That pair met in person for the very first time at the annual Genius Gala at Liberty Science Center in New Jersey in May. I sat down with them for an exclusive interview. So can I give half a hug? Of course. <laughs> A first face-to-face -face meeting created by science and sacrifice. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Doudna won a Nobel Prize in chemistry for research in 2020. Her work led to a revolutionary gene editing technique known as CRISPR. Victoria Gray, an activist and lecturer, is the first person with sickle cell disease to receive an experimental treatment using CRISPR in 2019. She was patient number one in the first clinical trial. On this night in May, Gray honored the woman whose discovery she credits with saving her life. Dr. Downer, can you please join us on stage? Gray is among the more than 100,000 people in the United States living with sickle cell disease, according to the CDC. I was always fatigued and weak, and as I grew into adulthood, my organs started failing. I started having heart failure. I didn't feel like I was living. I only felt like I was existing in this world. Sickle cell is an inherited disorder that affects red blood cells, causing the normally disc-shaped cells to take on a crescent shape that can clump together. It can lead to blood clots, organ damage, and excruciating pain. More than 90% of those impacted by sickle cell are black, and up to 9% of patients are Hispanic or Latino. And what impact did it have on your family, your marriage? Oh, it, it was challenging for my family specifically my oldest. He started getting in trouble at school and his teacher called it to my attention and said, he's trying to get suspended so he can be there to watch over you. And I see some emotion in your eyes. Yeah, it's very touching. I'm a mom and I have a son too and it's really heartbreaking. Until recently, the only cure was a bone marrow transplant, but only about 15% of people with sickle cell have a donor match. CRISPR has changed that. CRISPR eliminates the need for a donor because it uses gene editing technology to alter a patient's own cells. The FDA approved CRISPR for sickle cell in 2023. It would be like going into a textbook with thousands and thousands of words, finding one word that's misspelled, correcting that one word without disrupting or changing the story. Gray says it has virtually cured her of the disease. The first day I woke up after eight months after the treatment and I was off all the pain medications. When I woke up and I didn't feel anything, I panicked. I thought I was dead. In fact, today, Gray is very much alive, taking her first trip abroad with her husband. I really want to see the day when this becomes effectively a standard of care. We're in a time of unprecedented cuts in the government, specifically to science and research funding. I wonder what goes through your mind as someone who's been at the forefront of so much of this work. Here we are at a moment when science couldn't be better, when technologies are advancing that can cure diseases like this. I mean, it's extraordinary. And to think that we would want to stop doing that, I can't fathom it. Doudna hopes the treatment, which costs millions per patient, can become more accessible for patients like Victoria Gray, now an advocate for CRISPR. I know firsthand that suffering, and I want to reach others who, like me, feel alone, feel silent, feel like no help is coming. <laughs> We're coming.